What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be showing you a quick and easy video on how to replace your throttle body or throttle position sensor on your Chevrolet Equinox or any GM engine. It could be a GMC Terrain or any other one that has the um, 2.4 Ecotec engine, all right? First thing we need to do is we need to get a flathead screwdriver and we need to remove the uh, top box right here, which is what's covering your throttle body. If you are standing in front of your vehicle, you can see it directly. It's this whole assembly right here, and that's the connector to it, all right? There it is. Very easy and simple to access. So first screw is going to be this one, all right? And the second screw is going to be, let's see, zoom in. It's going to be right here. You see it directly? That one right there. Zoom in a little more. There you go, that one. All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, do some YouTube magic real quick and fast forward for you. Okay, so once you loosen up the um, once you loosen up the screws for the hoses right here, you will notice this vacuum hose. Please be sure to remove it. You can simply just pry your fingers and pull. You just got to be careful. All right, it just comes right off. Now, push this to the side and the box should be ready to go. Just wiggle it back and forth. All right, if you heard that snap in the back, it sits on some little grommets, you'll see it, and then it should just come out just like that. You see, there you go. So make sure you put this somewhere safe where it won't get lost. And um, look at that, that's a dirty one. Now you have access to your throttle body. And I believe these are 10 millimeters, let me see. Yes, okay. Before um, before you remove the throttle body, be sure to remove the negative battery, uh, the negative terminal on your battery. Okay, so we can get everything reset. Let me see. Let me see. Let me just double check real quick. Yeah, I believe that's it. So it's number ten. Yes, yeah, it's ten. All right. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, re remove the negative battery terminal, which is what the first thing you should have done, and then loosen up those four bolts, and we'll have to remove this plastic. Uh, connector right here and I believe we pull on this red tab let me have to get a screwdriver here all right lift that tab just like I did and now we push down we're able to push down and wiggle this out just like that okay so there you go guys so this is my setup right here guys with my 10 millimeter i'm just getting all of them i loosened up three already make sure you hold it with one hand in case it start it, it falls on you so once it's all done you should be able to wiggle it off just like that all right let me see bring the new one so we can compare take that thing off Let's take the cover off out with the old in with the new look at that now let's turn it around look at here that was shiny and nice and this was all gunked up so it's easier now this wasn't throwing any check engine lines on all right the only thing that was the problem was it was the idle was fluctuating up and down so i plugged in the scanner and it said that one of the store codes was the throttle body so we went ahead and just replaced it with a new one and um gasket looks pretty good everything looks pretty good in there and uh, there we go guys now that we're going to do the same procedure just in reverse order oops sorry you know those 10 millimeters are just flying away all right you want to get the uh you got a magnet get this the bolts threaded on by hand first before you use the ratchet so make sure you don't cross thread them okay and then let's uh let's drive this down and let's plug everything back on stay tuned okay so once you tighten it down let's plug this connector back in make sure it clicks and then lock it in place there we go and now let's put the uh cover back on or the intake you see those two things back here that's where the thing has to sit so we can line it up with that just line it up right here just like that and now make sure that it sits 
down here on the flower body. Slice down nicely. All right, and now that's in. We plug in our hose and we're gonna tighten up these. And then we'll finally we'll reconnect our battery and we'll be good to go. All right, so now that that's done, battery is connected, throttle body is connected, hoses are connected, all everything is nice and snug. Let's get inside and let's turn it on. Here we go, moment of truth. So far so good. And don't worry, the you don't need to reprogram the throttle position sensor, it does itself. Well guys, there you have it. That's how you change your throttle position sensor or throttle body on a 2011 and up or 2012 and up Chevrolet Equinox or GMC Terrain or any SUV that uses the 2.4 liter Ecotech engine from GM. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep these videos coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're interested in purchasing a car, don't hesitate to check out our website. I'll try to put it in the description below. We need a minimum of $500 to $900 down. And uh, regardless of your credit history, as long as you have provable income, we should be able to take care of you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.